Hello everyone, my name is Spanner and welcome back to Civilization 5. We are once again in Marrakesh, Jewel of the Desert. And last time we finally dealt with our unhappiness problem, we are now sitting at a massive 48 happiness. And I believe we've decided to go for a diplomatic victory. Thus, we need to amass large quantities of gold to buy off the city-states that are around here somewhere. For now, let us continue. And hopefully, Denmark will not be too aggressive since they are fairly close to eliminating the Iroquois. I believe they are they only have this city, right? I'll have to check in a minute. Let's see. We met Genoa. You there, Hiawatha. Yeah, we can't trade cities with him, so he only has the one. Um, let's see, we have this caravan. This caravan can keep trading with Denmark and over here oh we can uh, we can build stuff hooray oh two additional delegates this uh, this is a good option let's take a closer look let's see Requires patronage, which I have. Grants two additional delegates in the World Congress. Minus 10% unhappiness from citizens in unoccupied cities. So yeah, this will also boost our happiness, which is great. And next, let's try and go for the Big Ban. Which will give us a couple extra gold per turn. And we can purchase in cities for 15% less. There are also other wonders here. Oh, I can add the... F wait. Red Fort, only one allowed in the world. Am I already building it? See an arsenal... Ah, Red Fort. Yes, I am. Okay, never mind then. Let's see... We have... Uh, if I annexed all of these... Oh, there we go. He's denouncing me. I guess he might try and attack me soon. Luckily, I have sent my... Well, not the entire army. Some of my army over to Tonga. Let's see. Jeonju. Let's leave it as a gold-producing town. And... Uh, what can we build here? Let's get university so we can get the Oxford University eventually. Some walls. And seaport. We are still in the Golden Age. And we are producing 8 tourism, but uh, that's not what I'm... Not really worried about tourism. Not trying for a cultural victory. Owen, what are you guys building? What uh, are you guys building over here? Oh, building a mine. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Busan is adopt religion. What religion? There's no religion here. By the way, my religion is Shinto, right? Why are... Why are these cities following whatever that is? Why are they following Hinduism? That can't be right. Oh, great city of Marrakesh. Give me... Do I need a missionary? Maybe an Inquisitor would be best. I'll just go with the missionary. Oh, great city of Marrakesh, grant me a missionary. And 
My wish has been granted. Perfect. I have to build a casbah over there. And on these tiles too. Hopefully the workers will get around to that eventually. Why are you... Why are you constructing trade posts? Well, I guess there's not much... Not much to build there to increase the city's production even further, so... I guess that's not a bad choice. Let's see, Fez, you are also production focused, so you can get a seaport. Since you have a lot of ocean tiles, that's really great. A missionary, come all the way over here. And spread the mighty Shinto religion. That's better. Now the religious pressure is even greater, so hopefully we'll get rid of Hinduism soon. Tonga has been converted to another religion. God damn it. Indonesia, stop converting my cities. Uh, let's see, missionary can come over here. We only have one more use. So we'll probably have to buy another one. And maybe I'll buy one, then an inquisitor, and I can place an inquisitor in this city. In, um, if you place an inquisitor in a city, it will reduce the effectiveness of enemy prophets and missionaries. So it's a good thing to know. Most of us can, as we choose, make of this world either a palace or a prison. There we go, forbidden palace. When we build, let us think that we build forever. And the Red Fort too, apparently. It was nice timing. Let's see, Daegu, you can get a workshop. University, a harbor, some walls, and windmill. Let's see, we were going with patronage, so let's get this one first. So our goals will grant more influence with the city-states. Um, we are also now sitting at a whopping 57 happiness. Yeah, take that, Denmark. I bet you don't have that happiness. Always going to war and trying to kill people. Okay. Yeah, Jeonju is still under heavy religious pressure since they have a trade route. Yeah, and over here too. I have trade routes with my city so they can exert more religious pressure. Owen. Kamehameha has completed the Uphizi. Not really sure what this does. I wasn't able to build it yet. Every single time someone else beats me to it. Well, I guess we can take a look. Uh, let's see. Technologies. Where is the Uphizi? In archaeology? No. I think it's over here somewhere. Architecture? Tower Taj Mahal. Ufizi, there we go. One free great artist appears near the city where the wonder was built. And it has three slots for great works of art. Okay, so it's um, mostly one of those to increase culture and tourism. Oh, and our golden age is ending pretty soon. What's this? Danish cargo ship. Okay, so they are also exerting religious pressure on this city over here. Yeah, Golden Age has ended. Um, let's let's establish a trade route with um, what city? 
guess Samoa. Yeah, this might work. Overhearing Fez. Um, hmm. What can we build in Fez? Let's get the Berber Cavalry. One of our special units. Let's see, mounted unit that specializes in desert warfare and protecting Moroccan lands. Receives combat bonuses when fighting both in desert tiles and Moroccan territory. Not a bad unit, a bit more defensive than the regular cavalry. So, a good one to have. Let's see, Sayu is science focused. Let's get a bank. Since banks obviously give us science. Get some walls, barracks, and a stable. So it can also have some strong production. See over here we are building the Big Ben. Let's see, we could use some more army over here. This continent is all ours, so it's pretty much secure. Over here. Oh, we can upgrade these two cannons, that's right, and these two Gatling guns. Let's see, let's check our unit list. Trebuchet cannon, another cannon, and the cannon. Scouts are still exploring, I think. Oh, knights! Knights can be upgraded to Berber cavalry. And these into Gatling guns. Okay, we spent some gold, but uh, our army is very modern. Oh, and let's take a look at the Berber cavalry. Yeah, they look kind of nice. A couple of mounted riflemen with the. Uh, are those beards? Yeah, with amazing beards. So these guys will pra practically win every fight, mostly due to the impressive beards. Um, let's see, let's trade with Honolulu. And move on to the next turn. And get my research back here. Mm, let's see. Building a barracks over here. What are we building here? Wait, what? Building barracks and a bank and a university? Not bad. Also, did I remove the check mark to avoid growth in every city? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, the cities can grow for now. We have this Berber cavalry over here. Let's move them to Tonga. Watch you. Oh, you're still avoiding. Yeah, you can grow too for now. That might increase the city strength a little bit. And let's surround the city with units. Just in case. And we can move the rest of our army near the capital. And I guess I'll move these cannons to be stationed into more coastal cities. And this one too, you can go over here. Just to get a little extra defense from any naval sneak attacks. 
Let's see, how are my spies doing? Okay, we're in Honolulu. They have no tax to steal, but might give us some information. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Great archaeology is done, and we have a great engineer. And this caravan can also trade again. Let's go to Grand River. Because why not? We have a great engineer over here. You can go to the capital. And stay there until I need you to rush something. Let's see, Rabat, you can... can do what? You're also production focused. Man, I have a lot of production cities. I guess you can go on gold focus for now. Let's see, the production over here can be 39.27. Yeah, it does not compare with these two, so... Let's get some wool here. Maybe the, work the workers will come and make a couple of um, trading posts around there. Meanwhile, you can produce some wealth. Tonga can get an arsenal. Increase the city's defense. And let's set up these cannons properly. We have the... Is this the Berber cavalry that I sent over here? Probably. If I sent this cannon over here, no one can get there. It's all covered on it's all covered in ice. Let's get it to Jeonju instead. Oh is wait. Wait a minute. Do I have open borders with Indonesia? I don't think so. I guess they were... I guess I didn't have this little tile here and they were stuck there. Let's see. Um, God, I can never remember where that is. Uh, espionage? Economic? Is that economic? No. Trader, tech tree, religion... Oh wait, I think it's in demographics actually. No. Where's the deal history? Ah, diplomacy overview. Let's see, deal history. Ah, uh, relationships. Let's see, completed deals. I don't think so. Oof. Yeah, we're just we're just friends. Guess he was stuck there. Okay, cannon set up. A lot of Indonesian cargo ships around here. Uh, let's see. I also want to search for a militaristic city-state. Ah, Valletta. That'll work. Let's see, let's buy them off. And... Let's let this, this guy gather the intelligence and then we'll move him over there. So we can keep gaining some influence. And the militaristic city-state will keep uh, granting us with military units over time, so pretty good if you don't want to waste time building military units. Militaristic city-states can give you a bit of a boost. Okay, 
let's get our new Berber cavalry. And you can build an armory. Why not? A lot of trading posts being built here. When what what converted now? Rabat God damn it, Rabat. Need to get an Inquisitor over Oh, they completely removed Shinto. How dare they? Do you wanna fight Indonesia? Is that it? You do, do do we wanna do we want to have a go at the mighty Moroccan Empire? I crushed Korea, I can take you or Gayamada or whatever your how your name is pronounced. To achieve great things, two things are needed. A plan, and not quite enough time. And there we go. The Big Ben has been built in Marrakesh. And now for the Brandenburg Gate. This gives us, well, gives us a great general and extra XP for units trained in Marrakesh. Actually, I do not want to build it in Marrakesh. I want it in Fez. Since Fez it's also a coastal town. We can get some extra XP on our ships if we create some. And since it's also a production city, I can get all the military boosting buildings over here, so it'll be nice. And since I just used my great uh, great engineer to boost it, we will get it next turn. And no one will be able to take that away from me. Oh yeah, and we'll also research archaeology. Pale death beats equally at the poor man's gate and at the palaces of kings. The nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. Oh, and we got a great musician. Okay, as I was saying... Um... What was I saying? Something about military units and experience. Oh, archaeology, that's right. We can start... Building some archaeologists. And um, I'll explain what archaeologists do once we have some. And the great musician, you can also use it to create a great work, which is a piece of music. And if he's in um, a territory of another civilization, you can perform a concert tour, which will give you some tourism influence with that uh, civilization. And 20% of that value to every other sieve that exists. So, pretty nice, but let's create a great work. There we go, Hugo Wolf created Das Verlassen Magdlein. Pretty sure that's not how it's pronounced, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh god damn it, Indonesia? Always with their great prophets. Ah. 